This is an I Can Read book. If you'd like to follow along in your own copy of the book, turn to page 5 where you see a picture of Tweety on the telephone. That's where we'll begin. Rolo and Tweety and the Ghost at Dougal Castle. Story and Pictures by Laura Jean Allen. Tweety, I need your help, said Lord Dougal. Please come at once. Tweety was a famous detective. Rolo was his assistant and best friend. Welcome to Scotland, said Lord Dougal. I am counting on you American lads to solve our mystery. Tell us about it, said Tweety. We have a castle ghost, said Lord Dougal. My granddaughter Bonnie saw it. The ghost walked right past my window, said Bonnie. Who else has seen this ghost, asked Tweety. The cook, said Bonnie, and the gardener. The chimney sweep saw it too, said Lord Dougal. It scared the shepherd, said Bonnie. All the sheep ran away. The ghost is scaring all my servants, said Lord Dougal. Who else lives here, asked Rollo. Bonnie said, the maid lives here, and our housekeeper, Mrs. MacRob, and her husband. Hmm, said Tweety. Please find the ghost before they leave, cried Bonnie. We will catch your ghost, said Tweety. I promise you. That night, Rolo and Tweety hid and watched for the ghost. There it goes, cried Rolo. Let's follow it, said Tweety. Rolo and Tweety ran after the ghost. The ghost is gone, cried Rolo. Hmm, said Tweety. This is a mystery. The next morning, Tweety said, Lord Dougal, please tell us something about the castle. Well, said Lord Dougal, the castle is very old. There are many stories about it. Does the castle have secrets? asked Tweety. There is a hidden treasure, said Lord Dougal. But it is no secret. Everyone knows about it. Does everyone know where the treasure is hidden? asked Tweety. Oh no, said Lord Dougal. Only I know where the treasure is. Hmm, said Tweety. Would you show us around the castle? Maybe Rollo and I will find some clues about your ghost. Of course, said Lord Dougal. Here is the shepherd's house, said Lord Dougal. Look, said Rollo, a sheet. It looks just like the ghost, said Bonnie. Hmm, said Tweety. What is this strange ditch? asked Tweety. The gardener said he is planting trees here, said Lord Dougal. Maybe it could lead to the treasure, said Rollo. Hmm, said Tweety. Let's see the kitchen. This way, said Lord Dougal. Look, said Rollo, a map. Hmm, said Tweety. It is drawn on the back of a recipe. Wow, said Rollo. Maybe it is a map to the treasure. Hmm, said Tweety. What about the chimney sweep? asked Tweety. He is strange, said Lord Dougal. Once we found him in the library. He said he had fallen down the library chimney. Oh, there he is again. Hmm, said Tweety. That night, Rollo and Tweety hid again. Hours passed. Kerchoo! Shh, said Tweety. Try not to sneeze again. I did not sneeze, said Rollo. If you did not sneeze, who did? asked Tweety. It must have been the ghost, said Rollo. 
Ghosts do not sneeze, said Tweety. They have no noses. Do ghosts have feet? asked Rolo. No, said Tweety. Well, that ghost wore big black shoes, said Rolo. Hmm, said Tweety. We saw the ghost last night, said Rolo at breakfast. Or maybe we saw someone dressed up as a ghost, said Tweety. Why would someone do that? asked Lord Dougal. Why would someone want to scare us? asked Bonnie. Hmm, said Tweety. Maybe the ghost wants to scare everyone away. But why? asked Lord Dougal. Maybe the ghost wants to search for the treasure when the castle is empty, said Tweety. What are you going to do? asked Lord Dougal. Rollo and I will trick the ghost, said Tweety. How? asked Bonnie. We will make the ghost think the castle is empty, said Tweety. Good idea, said Lord Dougal. The next morning, everyone but Mr. and Mrs. MacRob left the castle right after breakfast. Mr. and Mrs. MacRob stayed behind to guard the castle. Rollo and Tweety were the last to leave. Rollo and Tweety went to a nearby inn and ate sandwiches for lunch. Poor Mrs. MacRob, said Rollo. What do you mean? asked Tweety. She was so sad when she waved goodbye, said Rollo. You mean she sniffled and blew her nose, said Tweety. Tweety jumped from his chair. That's it, he cried. Back to the castle, Rollo. It is time to catch our ghost. We must be as quiet as a ghost, said Tweety. Right, said Rollo. Then what? We look for the ghost, said Tweety. Rollo, you look upstairs. I will look downstairs. Rollo climbed up to the highest tower. He looked over the edge. This is very high, said Rollo. He got a rope and tied the end to a pillar. He tied the other end around his waist. He leaned far over the edge. Snap went the rope. Down went Rollo, right into the moat. Mr. MacRob fished poor Rollo out of the moat. What are you doing here? asked Mr. MacRob. Please do not tell anyone you saw me, said Rollo. Mum's the word, said Mr. MacRob. Tweety was in the great hall. Suddenly he heard, Kerchoo! Tweety turned around. It was Rollo. What happened to you? asked Tweety. I fell into the moat, said Rollo. Just then they heard a loud, Kerchoo! It came from the library. Tweety opened the door slowly. The library was empty. I will smoke my pipe and think, said Tweety. The secret of a great detective is thinking. Kerchoo! There it is again, said Rollo. Hmm, it came from the bookcase, said Tweety. There must be a secret door in here. I will tap on the walls. You listen for a hollow sound. Tweety began to tap with his pipe. He tapped each wall. He tapped each bookcase. Suddenly, a bookcase moved. Look, a tunnel, cried Rollo. Just as I thought, said Tweety. Let's follow it. I see a light ahead, said Rollo. Tweety and Rollo moved slowly toward the light. Aha, our castle ghost, cried Tweety. Drat, said Mrs. MacRob. I found the treasure. It is mine. 
Wrong, said Tweety. The treasure belongs to Lord Dougal. You are just a thief. Your ghosting days are over. That evening, Rollo and Tweety had tea with Bonnie and Lord Dougal. Why was the ghosty sheet in the shepherd's cottage? asked Bonnie. It seemed like a good clue, Bonnie, said Tweety. But now we know the shepherd shakes it to frighten the wolves. How about the cook's mop? asked Lord Dougal. Poor cook, said Tweety. She often gets lost in this big castle. She made her own map so she would not get lost. And the ditch? asked Lord Dougal. Just what the gardener said it was, said Tweety. What about the chimney sweep? asked Bonnie. A fine lad, said Tweety. He just lost his footing. He also loves to read. Well, well, said Lord Dougal. You are a great detective, and we thank you. The castle was happy again. The cook baked tarts. The gardener planted trees. The chimney sweep swept the chimneys. The shepherd watched the sheep. Lord Dougal gave a party for Rollo and Tweety. Back to America and our next case, said Tweety. But we will never forget you and Bonnie and your castle. Or the ghost who was not a ghost, said Rollo.